what's going on. So today I am here to do my May TBR with you and I'm pretty pumped because there are some really good books on the list. I'm actually really proud of myself because I'm already done two and a half books and it's only May 6th. That is pretty good for me. I've just had some extra spare time this week and just like been powering through these books. It definitely helps that all of the books I have been reading I'm actually really really into. So without further ado I just am excited to tell you guys about them so let's get right into it. <music> you about is the book that my book club, the Broken Book Club, is studying this uh, month for May and June, and that is The Double by Ho Jose Saramago. And this book is about a man who's just like, he's really into routine, he just likes, uh, every day is kind of the same for him, um, nothing nothing really new goes on, and he's, he's really depressed, he's a divorcee, and his life is just kind of going nowhere. Uh, one day, his colleague recommends this like local film to him uh, to watch, and while he's watching it, he notices that there is a an extra, like an actor in it, that looks exactly like him. This book inspired the movie Enemy, starring Jake Gyllenhaal, and me and Mitch actually watched that a few weeks ago, and we really liked it. It's it's really abstract and symbolic, and this movie, more than any other movie, really left me just like flabbergasted at the end. I liked it because it really caused me to think. It didn't really explain the symbolism to me. Um, so I had to really think about it and research it and look at other people's opinions. And so I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And so I'm hoping that the book has that sort of thing going on in it. Just that abstract uh, side to it, the symbolism and just the questions. Just um, the aspect that makes you think about what you're reading. And so because of those attributes, I really thought that's, that this would be a good choice for the book club, and so that's what we're doing. And if you guys think that you have time over the next two months um, and would like to read this with us, please join us. Head over to my book, uh, my book club page on Goodreads. I'll put the link down below for you. The first book that I finished already this month is called Unashamed by Lecrae. Um, if you've never heard of Lecrae, he is a rapper and he's awesome. My, me and my dance crew, like, it, it seems like we're always dancing to a Lecrae song. His beats are and musicality is just phenomenal, but also his rapping and his lyrics are just creative and inspiring and positive. And so if you like if you like rap and hip hop and you've never heard of Lecrae, you should definitely check him out on iTunes. Um, but this book is basically his autobiography. He writes about like the things he struggled with, the things he went through, and basically his journey um, into um, finding Christ and finding uh, hope in the world, and also how he just became like this huge successful rapper. He also goes really in depth about his struggles um, with even people's views or um, hesitancy uh, to to look into his music because of the fact that he's a Christian and rapper, and how hard it is to get people to understand that he just he's just an artist like everybody else, even though he's a Christian. So a lot of what he said, I totally identified with as a Christian dancer, and so I really really loved this book. I gave this one a five out of five stars. I really liked this book. The next book that I've already completed this month is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. <laughs> Stiefvater? I'm so sorry. I butcher names. Um, I powered through this one. It was really good. And, you know, I've been wanting to read The Raven Boys for a really long time, and I finally got around to buying them with a gift card that I got for Christmas, and I got I put them on my TBR as soon as I possibly could. Um, because... I mean, I've heard such good things about these this series, and also the covers are just unreal. It's It's got kind of like a mystery element, a supernatural element, and the characters were diverse. I actually really loved this novel. I loved the character development, just how we got to know all of the characters in the book. Um, I love where it's going. It really left on like a huge, like mind-blowing sentence. I can't wait to dive into the next book. And so therefore, another book that I have on my May TBR is uh, The Dream Thieves, which is the second book 
in the Raven Cycle. Another book that I'm in the middle on, um, I'm reading it on my Kindle, and that is Winter by Marissa Meyer, and I was so excited to dive into this one. I put it off for so long because, unfortunately, I started collecting the soft covers of uh, the rest of the books, and the soft cover, the paperback, hasn't been released yet. I just felt so left out, and I wanted to read it because this is honestly one of my favorite series in the universe. Um, and so finally, I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna download it on my Kindle, and I did, and I'm loving it so far. Um, I'm loving the character of Winter. I'm just really excited to see all the characters begin to interact with her and bring and see how she gets brought into this inner circle of colorful crew members that this book has. That's one of my favorite things about the Lunar Chronicles is just the colorful cast. I'm really excited to keep reading and um, I will be sad though to see the end of this series because it's just so good. And the last book that I'm throwing on my TBR um, that I'm for sure planning on reading this month is Me Before You by Jojo Mayes. Mays? I'm really glad that I'm finally getting to this book. I am listening to it on audiobooks. Sometimes I just am able to get to books faster if I download them for audiobook. I've just heard nothing but rave reviews about this book. Like it's everyone's favorite book right now and of course it's being turned into a movie. So I'm definitely pumped that I was able to get to it before seeing the movie. This book I believe is about a girl um, named Lou, I think if I remember correctly. I only, I've only listened to it once, just today I started it. So um, it's about a girl named Lou, I think. She loses her job um, and ends up getting a job uh, as a caregiver for this quadriplegic and uh, from what I heard it's just like a beautiful story. And so I'm really excited to uh, to read this and to get through it and to just be, to just let myself go emotionally. So that is it for all the books I plan to read um, in the month of May. I'm really excited uh, for all of these books so far. I'm, I'm absolutely loving what I've been reading in May. So May might be the best month uh, so far that I've had this year in 2016. Uh, here's to hoping. But yeah, um, so I would love to hear what you guys are reading um, this month. Uh, let me know down below in the comments. You can even like put your links to your own uh, TBR videos and I would love to watch those. Otherwise, if you, like, give me your thoughts about these books without spoiling them. Um, or, you know, give me a shout out on Twitter as well. I'll put all my information below for you. I'm always open to discussions. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me, guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. See you later. Him and Rapunzel together, because even at this point, I'm like, what's going on with them? Like, is it, are they going to be in love? Are they going to be together? Or like, is that going to be a terms of suspense and drawing me in? Um, I'm sure there are other mystery novels out there that will do it more so for me. Um,